Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, I have a Sephora haul, which is so exciting. Um, as you know, if you follow me or have followed me for a while, um, we do not have Sephora here in Malta, so um, we did go to Barcelona, we just got back late last night which is the day I'm filming it's a Tuesday so when this will probably go up um, just give you an idea so I basically had a long weekend in Barcelona and I'm literally decided to sit down and film this video before I actually start using them and leaving them for special occasions which I'll get into very shortly so as you may know um, I had a very long hiatus on this channel um, point being reason because I actually have um, a business called Hair Paper Puri, which I'm actually really focused on and that kind of just kind of took me off the filming video kind of thing so um, I've actually been re-inspired really since being and taking some time off to film um, if I do have time because obviously at this point in time I came back from a weekend and I've got another week off my full-time job Hair Paper Puri is my part-time job which is registered and everything and I'll go into detail in a studio vlog which you'll probably see on my channel very soon which be I'm not sure if they'll be weekly or not but we'll see how it gets on and how it goes I'm actually going to be filming the first studio vlog um, this week so I will go into all that at a later video or whenever you see the the, the studio vlog at a later date so today is a video all about Sephora I actually left this till the last day we were there um, I saw it straight away on the first day when we went into other shops and I said I'll just leave that to the last day so then I can just go in see what I need get what I need and then I'm done so as you can see as well I have no makeup on um, I really did not want to put any makeup on for this video um, I feel that you don't need to have makeup every time you film a video and that's probably why I haven't really filmed as well because what will happen was I'd be coming back from work I just literally immediately take off all my makeup and then I don't want to film because I have to reapply makeup if that makes any sense to film a video so some videos you might see me with makeup some videos you might not see me with makeup because I just feel comfortable nowadays with no makeup on and all I have on are these um little lash extensions which I got down before I went away so I just thought I'd just get into this haul because I keep on yapping yapping and it's already been two and a half minutes and I'm still yapping so I hope you guys enjoy this little haul and I sh and just see what I picked up okay let's get into it because I'm going to keep on yapping so basically before I get into that I'm going to say one more thing very sorry you haven't seen me on this channel for a while um I will try and film more videos I think there'll be a mix of everything there will be a mix of hello if you studio vlogs stuff with do with my actual business and stuff to do with beauty lifestyle I think it'll be a just a bit of a mumbo jumbo just as I get on I just really want to get into videos but they won't be um a proper schedule yet I don't think um it's just it's a bit stressful trying to kind of get everything in to perspective and to actually schedule and put so much pressure on myself to schedule at a certain day so they'll probably be random or i'll let you guys know on instagram facebook or my facebook page when videos will be going up but we'll see i just want to make sure i try and plan them in advance so let's get into this haul shall we we shall Okay, so basically I picked up quite a bit of things, not a lot, but things that I knew I needed. Um, starting off with, you can't go into Sephora without getting these face masks. Like, you can't go in there without getting them. So I picked up three. Um, these aren't the ones that I think my sister had picked up before for me, but um, I got the Aloe Vera face mask, which is this one right here and uh, this one is quenching and refreshing refreshing replenishing so that's a face mask there and I really like how inexpensive they are I'll tell you exactly how much they were they are 3.95 um, I just recently got a body shop mask and that was seven euros and these are 3.95 and they're really good so there's a big difference when you get a face mask here sometimes um, I got the like Lysh Lysh face mask this is ultra moisturizing and brightening I think my sister did pick this one up before 
um i really do like these i like the moisturizing ones because sometimes my face is going through a really bad like sore patch like over here i'm really dry but then i've got very oily t-zone and it is ridiculous like at the moment my skin is so like dehydrated from so much um this is a new one which i've never tried this is the coconut face mask and this is nourishing and soothing so i was really looking forward to trying this now i'm sorry if the camera lighting changes um the natural light is behind me and it could be there's a cloud going over and it makes me look quite dark so that's great so these are all 3.95 each um i wish i could get more um, but if I get more, Ryan would, would not be happy with me. And I actually didn't tell him what everything came to. I actually bought them half the price. So I hope he doesn't actually watch this video because he'll probably get really angry with me because I didn't tell him exactly how much I spent. I just gave him a number and just I said like I just spent that much. So you know, girl problems. I haven't actually bought makeup in such a long while. So you know, when you see things that you've never had before. You kind of have to treat yourself. So let me tell you the story about the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I was so excited that they had Fenty. Let me see if they, there we go. That's the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I actually took forever to match myself up. And then I noticed I was matching myself up with the concealer, not the foundation. So I was like, seriously how can i have done that so then the foundations were behind them i thought they were the small bottles were the were they actually like a small tester so i literally had to reshade and like rematch myself on the foundation now this one is shade 235 which is let me see if it will Not sure, it's a bit dark at the moment. Very sorry about that. That's the color. Let me open it to show you guys what it is. Let's see what the packaging is beautiful, like really gorgeous. So this is the packaging right here. Let's try and get that to zoom and focus on this. There we go. So that's the shade. And I'm not, I think I got a more of a dark shade. And I think it's more of a summery shade for me. I kind of wished I would be able to remember what I looked like in winter time. But I wasn't so sure. So I think this is my now shade. I can actually use now. For us, I think I would be much lighter for summertime now i actually saw the huda beauty um foundation if there was my shade i would have got huda booty huda booty huda beauty foundation instead but they had no middle shades so i am a bit more tan than normal but they only had the very light shades which would be my shade for winter and i wouldn't really be able to match myself up because i don't remember what sometimes you don't just don't know what you kind of your color is unless you're that color at that present day so we didn't get that um the reason i went into sephora was for these these are the benefit cabrow brow products let's see if they zoom in there we go so there are more than one brow product but they're a hell of expensive i'm going to be honest with you these were so the cabrow is let me see oh before i forget the fenty foundation was 32.95 so that's 32.95. Um, the Benefit Care Brow is 28.95, and the Goof Poof Brow Pencil is 28.95. So these are the same price. Um, there was the brow shape, like a shape, a small thin one, which I don't really use. So I think that would be wasteful for me to get. And they did have the brow gel, which I really wanted, but. Since I don't normally wear one, I said I'll kind of skip that a miss because these were the main ones I wanted to get. So I got the number three. So let me show you the Cabrow. The Cabrow is a very famous product. Um, and since I tend to use gel, um, I thought this would be something that I would be preferred to use. So that's what it looks like. Um, open it like this. The product is there. It's quite a 
small product actually. It's a cream gel brow. So it's not the biggest product. How much do you get in here? You get three grams and then you have the little brush. Obviously I have my own brush that I would use. Let's see if this will focus. There we go. So that's the brush. And that's the cabrow. That's number three. So number three tends to be a more, very universal shade. So that's that one. And then I got the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number three. So this one has the wider tip. Now this reminds me of one I used to use from number seven. And I think Max Factor have one now, which is a very similar one to the slanted pencil. So this has the benefit, the old magic. I really love their their like little illustrations are just so gorgeous. So this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I really want to try. So you have two little wands, I would say, on both sides. There we go. So you have one side with the product. I don't think you get so much either though. Yeah, it's very typical. Yeah, that's the product that you get. Okay, and then in the other side you get the spoolie like normal. So I'm really excited to try this. Uh, so yeah, so that's another product over and out. Um, this is something that I treated myself for my wedding, believe it or not. Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Matte Revolution Long Lasting Lipstick. And I got the Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner. And I got them in the shade Pillow Top. Now, this is apparently a very popular shade. Um, I did swatch the KKW, which I was not a fan. It was too nude. Um, but these just look gorgeous. And I'm going to leave this for my wedding day. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. But I'm not going to swatch it. Because I'm literally leaving this for my wedding day. I did get them because I'm not sure if I'm going to be actually um, going abroad until my wedding day. Which is next year in May. So I just wanted to make sure I had them ready to go. So that's the matching lip liner for my wedding day. I just want to make sure I've got something on hand. Something that I like and it's a colour that I would definitely use. So I know I'm going to be in a pink nude lip, so I wanted to grab those and yeah, have them on hand. I nearly forgot this. Don't ask me how I nearly forgot this. I was dying to get this because I saw the Urban Decay, um, and they had and I was I nearly I nearly forgot it, but then I saw I was going to check out and I saw the minis. I was like, oh my god, I nearly forgot I nearly forgot the setting spray. So I got the All Nighter uh, Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. It's the, one of the best sellers, I would say. Everybody uses it. Everybody loves it. So, um, you gotta have it. So, let me just open this quickly. So, it's your normal setting spray. Um, again, I won't use this as an everyday thing because I don't need to have so many setting sprays, but I will keep this for, like, special occasions and stuff like that. The setting spray was €30.95. And the Charlotte Tilbury, um, the lipstick was $32.55 and the lip liner was $22.55, so 10 euros difference. So all in all, you can do the math, because I'm not going to say how much I spent, because if Brian's watching this, he wouldn't be happy with me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so that was my haul from Sephora. Um, I did, didn't pick up so a lot, because I don't really wear makeup anymore, I'm going to be very honest, I really don't. Um, even for work, I wear a powder foundation, which is not even a liquid foundation. So even sometimes with a liquid foundation, I just feel my face is so dehydrated that I don't just don't wear it anymore. And it's quite strange, especially coming from a girl who is a makeup artist who used to love slathering makeup on your face. So it's just a, a, a weird thing going on. Um, but wait, I think I just really forgot one product. There's one missing. Where is it? Be right back. I'm going to actually put this in here because I could have bought it from Sephora but I got it from the GT3 because I felt bad I didn't buy it. And it's the 
Benefit Hula bronzer, but this is the caramel one. I have been following Genevieve. She's a makeup artist. I think she's Irish. I'm not sure if she's Irish or Scottish. Um, and she used this for her wedding and it looked beautiful. This is the caramel hula. Um, I did swatch them. I'm not going to swatch this now, but I did swatch them at the airport and I just don't know why. The hula, the actual original hula bronzer was a bit, I was like not impressed, but I liked the caramel more and picked up the caramel one. So this is one of the newest hula bronzers that they came out with because they've got two, I think there's three colours now or four colours, but this is the caramel one and I like it. I really like it a lot. So that is basically all the makeup that I purchased on my holiday and all the only makeup that i've actually purchased in a long while so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already um hopefully we'll have some more videos coming up soon maybe some reviews and stuff like that we will see we're just slowly getting back into the game as i would say so thank you guys for sticking by me and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video have a lovely day wherever you're in the world and i'll see you shortly bye guys Oh, 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 oh,